Hey, welcome back, Rogue Techers. We are sitting at Circinus here in the, just, well, what used to be part of the Circinus Federation, but right now it's held by the Lyran Commonwealth. They, uh, I believe there's going to be, a, there's a war going on now between uh, Circinus Federation, um, House Mark versus House Steiner and a few others. So um, we're going to attempt to help out um, the Circinus Federation and House Mark by taking a contract today. Um, lost there. Hopefully this will help them out a little bit. Um, right now there's only a priority supply base mission um, that takes us to a different planet, but we're going to stay on this planet for now. Right now uh, Sirkinus Federation is kind of like kind of likes us, so we're going to keep uh, trying to raise their, uh, their likes on us, but that'll probably be the following mission. I don't think we're quite ready for a, another two and a half skull mission, but I think a two skull should be no problem. Four of eighteen. Um, salvage, which is what we're going to go for. So the sign of a Mark Mercantile concern has been missing for months. We suspect a kidnapping by pirates, but there's been no ransom demand. A local group of sympathizers on Circinus recently picked up a garbled message from the Scion uh, indicating that she's being held in a pirate facility there. Our intel failed to trace her to Circinus, so any loyal mechs are several jumps away. We need your help to extract her. Well, we certainly can do that. And a two-skull mission, um, let's hope we pick up another Wolverine part. We're one part away from getting a full Wolver Wolverine. We're going to go full salvage here, and we're going to accept this. Um, and I've also got a plan for the Panther here when we come back. Um, if we can pick up some double heat sinks and stuff, i got a plan to... Uh, Make the uh, the Panther 5T a little more punchier. All right, here we go. Four max on the ground. Locate the VIP and get to the evac zone. So we're hoping there's only one Lance of Mechs, and I'm hoping for all mediums, because we need uh, parts, and I'm hoping one of them's going to be a Wolverine. So my plan for the Panther 5T involves using that Clan Ultra 10 auto cannon that we have. It's 10 tons, and I think if we maneuver stuff around in there, I think probably we can get it to a point where it's going to be really viable um, as a weapons platform. So let's go up here. Actually, <laughs> sure, why not? Let's go up on this hill here. See if we can spot what's down there. Go up on the boulder. We got one, two mechs. Chances are another one's over here and over here, so let's just see. Nobody's moving? Okay, that's fine with me. Let's get close. Um, I think I'm going to want to use the woods and the hill crest over here. Understood. So move I'm going to move fast. I don't know what they're really up to down there. Commander. They may not even be moving. I don't know. Find out here in a second. But we want to get maximum evasion going. Oh, they're not even moving. That's fine. That's fine with me. Let's get you up here. I am the wind. I'm at a toss up now. I know we have that bulwark armor now for this guy. We might, we might throw that in. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so we're going to reserve, see if they do anything. Roger that. So we are facing two mediums. Blackjack. I hate blackjacks. They look so goofy. And yes, it really is the look for the blackjack that I don't like. So we're going to reserve again. Got lots of evasion, so I'm not worried. Centurion. There's another great weapons platform. Ow. Why is it always the 5T? Why? I've got something unknown on my sense. Okay, PPC, maybe a Vindicator. Alright, so I am going to what do we got here? LRM ten and Ultra Ten. So let's take that guy and make it so that he can't do anything. I got you. Let's go. There we go. Putting all the flamers Here on him. Go. One, two, three. Not bad. We can follow up with uh, Vane Skater here. We're going to walk over. Still in flamer distance, still in laser distance. I just don't want to, uh, I want to lose the stability here. And he's out of the range of everybody else, or he's hidden behind the hill here, so. We're just going to fire no. these. Open hit with one flamer. Just one. That's all I need. Nope. Okay. 
Okay, that's fine. Um, we're going to be going before them again anyway, so I'm not really that worried. So let's move down in here. Keep our eyes on that um, blackjack, and we want to kill this guy. So I'm going to leave the rocket launchers off for now, but I'm going to fire both the PPC and the ER medium. 680 armor, not bad. Okay, a little bit of damage. They will be done. We're gonna just walk over here, stay in the trees. Moving to position. And we're gonna unload on them. Uh, we're gonna leave the ER small off. We don't need it right for this. Confirm. So we welcome him into the party. Reporting critical hit. And we'll go again before him, which is great. So let's get Vane Skater right in here. Heading Just going to walk up. And we're going to flame her and large laser of the Centurion. So that will that be enough? That's the question. 15 heat only. Not enough. So height needs to back up. Um, get behind the hill here. Just peek over and we're going to shoot him, I think, with three flamers. Three should be enough to shut him down. We just need one hit. Oh, that's a lot of damage. And that's it for him. Target down. I was not expecting that, but okay. The piece is still rolling down the hill there. <laughs> yep. Alright, let's see if we can knock this guy down. Just going to walk forward, staying behind the hill here. Put a shot on this guy. Hopefully we can take him off his feet. Destroy his left torso. He passed the stability check though. I think I hit something good. Should have done a cold shot on him. Oh well. Now he's gonna run. No, he's not. Uh, shoot all you want. You are now open target for lay for order. the uh, missiles here. We're just gonna walk it over. Acknowledged. No point in going too fast. And we're going to unload with everything here. here it Goodbye. Not going to get much salvage out of this. Eliminated. I think this is the last guy. Vindicator Pirate. Oh boy. Oh, hoping for better salvage. Oh well. Ready to rock. You know the drill. Maybe we'll get lucky and a second lance will come in. This is like, for two skulls, three mediums is like, not that difficult. Three flamers. Alright, we're going to go for a headshot. Ready for orders. Can I shoot him from here? Yeah, I think I can. No point in moving. Just with the PPC and the tag, I'm gonna try for a headshot. On it. <laughs> Lethal damage. There you go. One Boom. Target. How you like me now? All right. Good to go. Let's finish this up. Did we get into the? No, we didn't. We just missed it. Oh well. Alright, just sprint over here. Just in case there's uh, reinforcements. And we're just going to reserve the turn. Zero? I think that should be it. That was kind of really easy. So we're going to pull off another mission here today. we got time for one more. That was super fast. Super easy salvage too. Hopefully we get lots of Vindicator parts. I mean, I was hoping for the, the uh, Centurion, but since he exploded on me, not much else I can do. So lots of Vindicator parts. And bla one Blackjack, one Centurion part. So we're going to grab... We got four Fusion Core. Um, ballistic. What is this? Hollow point or hot loaded. Uh, buff to alert alarm minus 180 minimum range. 
Hmm. Don't need that. PPZ. 428,000. Take that. Pirate medium laser. 329,000. Sure, I'll take that. Why not? Once again, we can't take mech parts, but we'll just confirm this and see what we get here. We got the Blackjack and Centurion part. Okay, good. One, two, three, four, five, five indicator parts. Nice. Excellent. Not much else. Heat sink. A couple of arms. That neck you asked for is cleared for wow, we got a Vindicator out of that. Nice. Nice. Pirated Vindicator. Okay. Yeah, man. Four, four grand, but let's take a look at that Vindicator. Cool. Now we can ditch that, that crappy uh, Panther. So let's hope it's got ballistic hardpoint on the arm. Once we put an arm back on it, that is. Let's refit this guy. So I think we'll be able to pull off another mission while this guy is getting repaired. This guy's got nothing. Pirate LRM-5. Wow. 238,000 to repair. We're going to confirm that. 12 days. Get that working. And we still got some time. We got enough, just enough cash to cover our thing here. We're gonna heal and get our pilots back, and then we're gonna go in for another battle. Mm. In an unused corridor near the Gamma Pod, Darius shows you a strange chart written in the walls in chalk. Each row has a mech warrior's call sign and the columns next to each name, a percentage and number in C-bills. As you compare the C-bill values of the re relative experience of the mech warriors listed, you realize that this is a perverse betting pool. The percentages must represent the survival odds for each mech warrior. Just then, Payroll rounds the corner and stops short. A stick of chalk falls from her fingers and snaps on the floor. Can you let this slide, put an end to it, or debate the odds? I'm going to put an end to it because this is, like, really bad for morale. Yeah, morale's increased by one. Payroll has the following tags. Low spirits. Yeah, well, you know what? I know you're a noble, but tough. Alright, three days. Okay, so that Vindicator, I mean, once that comes back from repair, um, hopefully it's got a ballistic hardpoint on the arm. We can put the Ultra Auto Cannon 10 on it. So I'm not going to bother upgrading that Panther. We'll leave it for now, and then we'll see what we can do after. So we can do Weapon Shipment, which is an ambush convoy for the local government. Um, everything else I think is a little too high. One Man's Art, that's two lances of mechs we can fight. And Lost Contact is a recovery mission. I think we're going to do that. It is against um, House Steiner, so... One of our dropships was in the Circinus system when it experienced technical issues. A final message indicated a hard landing. That dropship was carrying a valuable piece of technology as cargo. And while we were willing to write it off, write off the ship itself, we very much need the, to recover the cargo. Satellite imagery suggested that um, Laren forces recovered the cargo and are holding it at a nearby facility. We need you to raid that facility and recover the item. We can certainly do that. So let's negotiate. Um, we're going to go... Since we need a little money, we're going to go 417. Well, we can always sell a fusion core. Let's take a gamble and go 522. And we're going to launch these guys and get this done fast. Alright, here we go. Four mechs on the ground. Let's get this done. So we're going to get in this facility. Recover the cargo. And then they'll come in and pick us up right in the middle of the base. So just going to reserve. Let me go back to turn one. I don't think we're going to be dealing with um, Commander? Uh, yo. with turrets on this, but I do think we're going to have a Lance of Medium Max probably. Oh, there's Take a vehicle. The Maybe they'll have reinforcements. I'm hoping. What's up, boss? Okay, moving in. Right up the road. No shooting, just running. So we're just going to get in close. Another vehicle. Maybe they'll have reinforcements, or maybe there's two lances here. Double time. Let's go. 
Just saving ground zero to last, just in case anybody comes within sight range, we can get in with a PPC, but it doesn't look that way, so. No shooting, just running. Okay. So here comes the vehicles. That's a light, there's a light and medium, medium vehicle. Harasser with flamers. Boy, that's like... Fodder. Four vehicle flamers. Like, no armor. Alright. Can I see this guy? I can from over here. Let's Got just it. move in and clear him out of the way. I'm gonna manage my heat a little bit here. Just go with the PPC. That should do it. Yep. Vehicle down. So there's one vehicle down. Let's get height up. I want to see what else. We got a mech here. I think Come height up. can actually go in and deal with this guy right away, which we can. Copy that, Commander. It's going to be a light mech. What the hell is that? What is that? A power armor? Power armor. Right. You know what? I had to reinstall the. Uh, the packs, so um, I forgot to turn the power armor off, and there's a hunchback. Okay. Well, nothing worse than being power armor and getting cooked by flamers. But he wanted to come to the barbecue, so there you go. I think they need to adjust the numbers on that power armor, because it seems kind of a little, little ridiculous that the heat sinking is the same as a full full-sized mech, but that's just me. Okay, so they got a hunchback. I'm really hoping this is an it. One and a half skulls out might be. I'm hoping that they have hey, reinforcements, at least. Um, power armor is like totally super evasive too, right? Like, what's the chance to hit on this guy? Like nothing, right? So let's fire up here. Fire everything. So the four end hunchback's not bad. I like the fact that it's got multiple hard points. So it's got missile, uh, ballistic, and laser hard points all over it. So it's a really good platform. Um, so if we can get as much salvage from that guy as possible, that is I think the thing I think we want to do. So I think we're going to move height up there. I don't think the power armor will pursue him. But he might. We'll see. So I think what I might do in between episodes is reinstall the pack and remove the power armor because I really... It's... I don't know. It's just... They're kind of goofy. Now I know in the Battletech there's plenty of power armor, but... Um, the way they've got them implemented in here with these small mechs... It's just... I don't know. For me it's just kind of too goofy. All right, he's tagged. That'll help a little bit. Good to go. And we're not going to move fast. We don't need to. We're just going to walk up. Affirmative. The hunchback will probably try and shoot me, but if this guy's dead, he won't be able to see me. So we're going to use the PPC on him. Roger. Little overkill, but uh, you know, that's what I think of power armor. Hostile removed. Sure is. Okay. Then there was two. Yes, Commander. See if we can get in. We can't see the guy. Roger that. But we'll get in close. I think we'll use uh, Flatliner to grab the um, the the components. This vehicle is making taking the long way around. All right. So height. Skipper. Once again, doing what he does best. Uh, let's get in behind this guy. Affirmative, Commander. It's got low back armor, so I'm going to start off on the back and then move around to the front. Here we go. So with four hits, five hits should be shut down. There we go. Now I think what we're going to try and do is leg this guy. Ready for order. I'm learning my lessons from before. Um, trying to take our time with just God flamers man. on these guys is not working. So I think we're going to just work on taking legs out. So large laser and tag, we're going to go for the leg. Um, a lot of armor. Yeah, let's try for the leg. 
Nice. And Ground Zero is yep. going to move up. Just walking up. No, no, no sense in sprinting. And we're going to target him. We're going to go for the leg. And we're going to go with both of our lasers Locked since we don't off. have to worry about too much. That's the leg. I don't think I've ever had like five shots all hit the same tar the point what I've actually asked for. So that's actually good. So one pilot injury. I'm receiving you. And Flatliner is going to move around. Onward. And we are going to try for a headshot on this with everything. Since we've got so many missiles, it's going to splash everywhere. I think it's probably better if we try for a headshot. We didn't get one, but... He's going to stand up only to be knocked down again, but that's fine. Now, we can't see the other leg from where we are. But I'm going to bring Height around to this side. Just I'm walk there. him over. This guy doesn't have that great a heat sinking. We're going to fire all five. Just because I want, just in case one misses, I want to make sure we shut him down again. Yeah, thank you. Finally, a smart mech pilot. <laughs> I hate killing guys that just, just want to die. Copy that. Alright, let's get this vehicle and get out of here. Okay, so Vane Skater yeah, is going to go after our target. And Brace. And Flatliner. After this vehicle moves. Yeah, you realize you're in the wrong spot now, don't you, buddy? Gonna move up here fast. Hopefully we can get in, get and kill him next turn. The asset is in hand, Commander. It sure is in hand, Darius. Okay, we're gonna go right up here, find out what this guy is. Vedette. AC5 plus machine gun heavy. <sighs> okay, fine. Fire and everything. Might as well fire the rock launchers too. Oh, I didn't get him. Interesting. My flamer is empty. Your flamer is empty. Okay. Can you see that guy from there? You cannot. Alright, we're just gonna reserve. See what he does. That's fine. Well, I don't know why he's not firing back. Maybe he's just trying to reach the... Uh, there we go. Maybe he's just trying to reach the... mech with the components in it. Hopefully this will do it. Nope. He's just ridiculously strong. Alright, these guys are just going to reserve back. And hopefully Ground Zero can kill him and then we're out of here. Let's finish this up, buddy. Everyone wants to go home. There you go. And that's that. Two quick missions. Two up, two down. Let's see what kind of salvage we can get out of this. Hopefully lots of Hunchback parts. Wouldn't it be awesome if we got like a Vindicator and a Hunchback this episode? It'll certainly change the dynamic of the future games coming up, that's for sure. We can start taking large, larger missions once we get them tricked out a little bit here. So, no real damage, a little bit of experience points. So we got a chance for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hunchback parts. So we got to choose five pieces of salvage here. Let's grab the fusion core. Definitely going to need that for cash. Um, let's grab a plasma rifle. Plasma rifle, I think. 15 damage, 25 heat. Let's grab that guy. Uh, heavy machine gun is not really worth much. Just looking for value stuff now. AC5 plus 5 damage. Mm, not worth it. Vehicle flamers are worth how much? Three and these guys are worth a fair bit. So let's grab three of these guys. And I don't think there's anything else we really want here. And let's see if we get mech parts. So, power armor, and then one, two, three, four, five hunchback parts. Nice. Alright, let's see if we got enough to get a hunchback. That mech you asked for is cleared for fighting. Well, what do you know? Hunchback 4N. That's the one we want, too. That's the one with all the hard points. Well, this has been an awesome episode. So let's have a look at our mech base here. This is just awesome. Hunchback 4N, let's refit this guy, see what he's got. He's got his engine in him. 
That's going to save us a lot of cash right there. So this guy, let's just repair him and see what we got left here. AC5, LRM. So this guy can actually run the Ultra 10, the Clan Ultra 10 out of cannon. I'm thinking that's what we're going to end up doing. And then we can start punching way above our weight here. Cool. The only thing we're going to be dealing with, I think, with this guy is heat. But I think we can work on that. Um, we can focus on getting like double heat sinks and stuff. The higher missions we take, the better chance we have of getting those. The other thing we could do is run a, a, a missile boat off this guy too. Um, we do have an LRM-20. Um, it needs an, LRM, it needs an RT, Artemis system. SRM-6+, plus, some streaks. I don't think we don't I don't think we have an Artemis system yet, do we? Oh, we do. So we could run it with an Artemis system. That's interesting. But we've already got one missile boat, so I don't think we really need to go that route. But that's nice. So we're going to confirm the repair here, and then we're going to have to go sell a bit. Okay, so this is awesome. So when we come back next time, um, we will let's actually first deal with the possibility of going bankrupt. So let's go to the store real quick. So we come when we come back next time, we're gonna refit these two mechs and go on a mission. So let's so there is an LRM twenty single plus plus one damage. So we could run an LRM twenty on this guy and some lasers. Or I'm still thinking that the ultra well, it depends, because the Vindicator I think has got uh, okay, let's not get off track here. Let's sell one of the engines. We've got multiples of different engines, I think, now. Uh, we picked up one last last mission as well. And we got we picked up a 200 this mission, but we've already got... So we don't need the AC2. going to sell that. We don't need the AC5. We're going to sell that. Uh, what else do we have here? I picked up a bunch of vehicle flamers. Let's sell five of those. I think that should be enough. Yeah, that's that's plenty. So I think. Oh, I'm gonna sell this pirate, the two pirate ER medium. Um, I don't like the fact that I mean the damage is 40, plus or minus six. That's fine, but the 20 heat is ridiculous. Um, well, they're only one ton too, right? So maybe we'll hang on to them. Might end up using them. Two small pirate, not a big deal. We'll hang on to those LRM fives, machine gun arrays. What else do we have here that we don't want? Plasma rifle we'll hang on to. Just a regular PPC we'll sell. Um, so we do have others. PPZ, I don't think we'll end up, end up using that 45 heat for 75 damage. We're better off using this one here, 45 heat for 8 damage, and it's lighter. right? So we're going to sell this guy. And then what else do we have here that we can sell? Let's just hang on to those. I think that'll be it. I think we'll hang on to the engines. We got an extra fusing core 170. Yeah, so we'll hang on all the, all the engines. The one jump jet we can just sell that. We don't not really going to be jumping. Um, we're going to need ammo though. That's for sure. If we're going to put that um, Ultra 10 in there. So yeah, that looks pretty good. So yeah, when we come back next time. Um, we're going to refit these mechs. Let's just get the, uh, actually, let's just get them back so we can see what we have here. So let's have a look at the Vindicator real quick. Going to go to the bays. So the Vindicator, let's take a look at the refit on this guy. So we're going to strip the gear off this. It's just the uh, Pirate LRM-5. Um, and we'll leave leave the armor for now. So we do have lasers on this side and this side and a missile system and that's it. So not as impressive as I thought it was. So this guy definitely will not be the um, auto cannon build. But let's max out the armor for now. We don't need full on everything. But we're going to max the armor out to that. I'm just going to confirm that just so we're ready to build when we come back. Um, he doesn't need to be fast. I'm thinking what I'm going to do with this guy is, once again, is put the PPC in, a PPC capacitor in. Um, now that we've got the Hunchback, 
we're going to lose both of our Panthers. So I think this guy will be the one that takes over with the ER PPC. So he's going to be the upgrade for the our for our original Panther. I'm going to just going to confirm that. And then our secondary Panther will be the one that's going to be like the 5T will be replaced by the Hunchback. So what we're going to do here before the end of the month um, is we're going to take the Panther 5T. Since we're not going to be actually doing any combat until these guys are refit, we're going to put the 5T in storage. It's going to remove everything from the mech. And we're going to put the 9L in storage. And that'll remove everything from the mech. The one thing we might want to do as well is having a look at our trebuchet. We might end up removing um, the double heat sink kit from this guy and downgrading the weapon slightly only because if I'm going to build a PPC build on the Vindicator which I can do now that I've got two ER PPCs I can put one on each arm but in order to do that I'm going to need to remove the double heat sink kit from this mech here so our heat sinking on here right now is 66 which is just the double heat sink kit and a, and a double heat sink. But if I pull out the ER lasers and just put regular lasers back in as backup weapons, um, I can probably get away with just using a regular fusion core. We might even drop the size of the fusion core down a little bit just to be able to add a few more heat sinks. But we'll decide that next episode when we come back to refit stuff. So until then, I think we'll call it for today. Um, that's awesome. We've got now almost a full medium lance. That flamer unit is still working its well, it's working fairly well. So we're going to hang on to him, but very shortly he won't be because he's just going to be, you know, a, a one-hit wonder. So um, yeah, so we'll have to worry about what we're going to do with that that fire starter once we get a few more mechs. So until next time, we'll see you later.